The DEC's Cooperative Angler Program allows striped bass anglers to assist in monitoring the current striped bass population and give the public an active role in striped bass conservation and management. This is done by keeping logs of all striped bass fishing trips and counting how many striped bass were caught, taking length measurements, and scale samples. Recreational anglers play a key role in ensuring fish not being kept are safely and quickly returned to the water. Before going fishing, consider the gear you are using and make sure you have the appropriate tackle to properly reel in and handle your targeted fish. We provide volunteer anglers with logbooks to record information about their fishing trips, scale envelopes to take scales from striped bass, and instructions on what information is needed and how to properly collect it. The logbook information helps us determine the catch per unit effort, CPUE, which equals fish caught per hour spent fishing, or the recreational fishing success for striped bass in New York State waters. Scale samples are used to determine the age of the fish. At the end of the year, all of the data is analyzed and presented in an annual newsletter giving you an inside look into how the recreational striped bass fishing was the last year. In addition to the newsletter, all anglers that sent in scale samples will receive a report documenting the age of those fish. The scale samples are used to age the fish, kind of like a tree ring. This is where we see each annuli to determine the age of the bass. While taking scale samples can be a little overwhelming for people, it is not a difficult process and it doesn't harm the fish. In fact, the fish can grow their scales back easily. Our fisherman measures the bass and then gets ready to take scales. To take scales, simply grab a pair of tweezers. We prefer to use a curved blunt tip tweezer or a dull knife such as a shellfish shucking knife and gently glide the utensil of choice under the scales between the two dorsal fins and above the lateral line. Collect 10 to 15 scales and put them inside the envelope. Gently glide the utensil of choice under the scales between the two dorsal fins and above the lateral line. Collect 10 to 15 scales and put them inside the envelope. Proper handling of striped bass is extremely important to ensure fish survival after being released. Ways to help improve fish handling include using circle hooks, which are required in New York State when fishing for striped bass with bait. Circle hooks are designed to hook the fish on the side of the mouth and prevent the fish from swallowing the hook. When fishing with lures, swap out treble hooks for single hooks and crush barbed hooks to decrease injury to the fish. Make sure to have pliers on hand to quickly release hooks if necessary. During the release, always attempt to revive the fish by gently moving it side to side so that the water flows through the mouth and over the gills. Do not let the fish go until it is able to swim away strongly. Without the Cooperative Angler Program, we wouldn't be able to collect the important data that we need today to help us with striped bass conservation and management. Thank you for participating in the Striped Bass Cooperative Angler Program. I hope you have a great fishing season and tight lines.